If you haven't signed up for Cami questions as a beta test yet, make sure that you talk to your tech director or whoever's in charge of the technology in your school district and make sure that you get on the list for Cami questions in beta. This is going to give all of us teachers the ability to take our worksheets, our tests, old tests that we have that we're pulling off of from archives and instead of putting the questions into maybe a google form and having especially as a math teacher as i used to be taking pictures and cutting them saving them and uploading them into google forms so that we kids could automatically have their questions graded and they could get instant results they're now going to be able to do it through cami i just went into camiapp.com and I'm going to log in and I'm going to show you how to turn this on in this video. That's it. I'm just going to show you how to turn it on and maybe a little bit of what it looks like. So I'll definitely send out a part two of what it looks like after I play with it enough and what will work and what won't work. I'm sure there's some bugs because again, it still is in beta testing. So I'm going to click log in in the top right hand corner. I'm going to log in with my Google account is associated with my school and in the top right hand corner where my initials are I'm gonna click and click on settings now all of the things that are granted to me and the other teachers in my organization will be at the very bottom so we're gonna scroll all the way down to the beta section and you can see beta features here the holiday decorations is off convert non PDF files is off cami questions that's the one we're looking for for Google Classroom is off I'm gonna turn all three of them on one two three and you'll see that it changes the current value from off to on that means we are ready to go so I'm gonna X out of this now and I'm just gonna go down to a blank page open it up and on the left hand side you're going to see a new section that says questions that's what you want to make sure is on and ready to go. If you click it, you're going to see three options. You're going to have multiple choice, drop down, and short answer. And just think about drop down. If you brought in a PDF full of questions, drop down is perfect. I'm just going to click on that and then click here. You can write your question out if you want to, but really you don't need to. You can put it right next to the question and even the choices that are there. So it's all set up for you. If you click this is option A through D and you can continue to add options if you want to on top of that. You can set your answer key and your point value. So my answer key here, I can have display question. Well, I can turn that off if I want to. So it doesn't have those words at the top. And then I can pick the correct answer. If I pick correct answer is A, that's fine. I can also have multiple answers if you're going to have that option right a and c are the correct answer you would pick both just make sure that you click on multiple answers and then your point value here you can put it to whatever it is that you want just x out of it when you're done and now you have it set so this can be moved by grabbing the border and putting it next to whatever question and it also can be resized so that's one thing that i'm going to play around with is the sizing options see what works and what doesn't work on the student end if you don't know how to join the beta testing program with Cami, click the link in the description in this video and I am going to link this. It's a Google form so that you can join Cami's beta program. Please don't forget to subscribe to the channel so that you can get part two of this Cami questions video once it gets released. And if you have any questions about Cami questions, Make sure to leave your comments below in this video.